So I'm telling you these lessons both from a place of like experience and making my own mistakes, but then also now as a seasoned journalist and how to do. This. So I'm a big hip hop fan for 50th year. We gonna remix Biggie's Ten Crack Commandments into the Ten Cap Commandments, and these ain't gonna be cap, right? These are gonna be like legit <laughs> strategies and tools to help your captions be better. So the first commandment: Thou must write your captions. Yes, you're interested in photo journalism, and there's two parts of that: photo journalism. You're a photographer who is also a journalist. And so you must do your own reporting, right? You can't, you know, hope that somebody else got the name. You can't hope that somebody else got the information that they needed for the story. You, thou, needs to go and write your own stuff, okay? Uh, when you're actually writing captions, you want to use active verbs, jumps instead of jumping, right? You want to use verbs that are in the now, in the present tense. And so every caption that you see across the industry is going to be written in the present tense in that moment. So use active verbs, write in the present tense. Identity. If we can see people's faces in the image, we need their name. Though the fifth tip I'll give you is like any good journalist, we are responsible for collecting information about the who, what, where, when, how. But the one thing that is going to save your bacon with captions over and over and over and over again to get the information that you need is the why. The why is the single most question that you could ask someone to really get the information that you need for your caption writing, right? They're going to give you a ton of different answers. And that is all information outside of just their names and where they're from and their ages that you can add in your caption writing. And so, so people need context when they see your photographs. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, I love my written print brothers and sisters. I love my digital brothers and sisters, but they're going to see images first, right? They're going to see visuals first. And depending on how they interact with that space will determine a lot of times whether they'll continue to read the article or not. 